All right, so we already started our morning, had our breakfast, and now we're at the factory. And uh, looks like that today, maybe, maybe, there's an assembly, the first assembly of the wooding one. But probably it's going to happen tomorrow because uh, Yulun is still working on the testing tool because they needed some changes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why they want changes like the day before they do the actual assembly, but we'll see what happens. It's some pretty small changes, like uh, instead of having the time color change, they want to click it and it should be right uh, without any big risks. And hopefully we'll start tomorrow or uh, later today. Little break, going for lunch. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Yulun. What's the plan? We're going to check out different parts of the factory. I think where the parts come in, uh, we're going to check if they're all correct. And there was something else, I don't remember what. Uh, something else. But you'll see. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so this is the room where they test all the materials that come in. And uh, what they do is, let's say, a thousand color top plates come in, and they have a certain amount which they need to test. For example, I think it's about 80. And what they do, they inspect every single top plate, and if one or two is defect, then they basically say, okay, the whole batch so we received like the entire thousand top plates, there's something wrong there. So then the supplier needs to fix it, and they do that by either sending someone over. We're sending back the entire box. We just heard there were some issues with a couple of the ISO keyboard top plates, but luckily the ENSO keyboards are right, so they can also already start being produced. So, the me is the second part in the sorting process. So the room I was just in, they do the quality checking here, and right here, they sort all the materials and clean them so they're ready for your assembly. Okay, so now we're at the actual assembly line where the keyboards will be assembled. Right now they're, doing, they're still in the preparation phase, so they're still making the stabilizers. And the stabilizers are the little metal parts that go underneath the spacebar, and the shifts are the big keys. So when you press them, they'll be safe. <laughs> That's it. at the factory we didn't have the production yet and we expect it to happen tomorrow the reason why we didn't have it yet is because we were missing the switches they didn't come in today which kind of sucks but they'll come in tomorrow morning so that would be great for tomorrow so tomorrow we'll be able to see a lot of the production stuff happening we're quite curious ourselves also how it will look like and then this other thing with the ISO top plates what we explained earlier in the video um, what's gonna happen with that next so earlier in the video we talked a bit about the quality control they do and during the inspection they found that uh, at the ISO keyboard they have an extra key at the bottom, bottom left which is sort of like the slash key and there was an issue there with the holes that it wasn't perfectly aligned and they're sorting it out right now um, they're gonna handle it very fast and in the meantime we can just start with the production of the ANSI keyboards yeah. and probably somewhere early next week we can start the assembly with the ISO keyboards so hopefully, uh, so hopefully, or well, it is currently planned to all uh, run on time still. And I think what's going to be interesting is that first we start with assembling the keyboards, and then probably next week we'll start packaging. Yes. So they're two separate things. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I hope yeah, you guys too. are too. Yeah. And we'll see. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs>